What's up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Of course, I'm your favorite random man, Future King of YouTube, Terrence Woods, in the building today. And how are you guys doing? Whew, that was a lot to say. That was really like a whole mouthful. So, what's up, guys? Uh, welcome back to another reaction to a video. And I want to thank you guys uh, for taking time out your busy schedule, watch your favorite random man, do what he does best. It's being random, talking, and other crazy stuff. Anyways. Uh, man, so Fantastic Four 1994, before I talk about that movie, uh, I, again, I just want to say, um, you know, the loss of Stan Lee, from, not just from comic book fans and um, nerds around, uh, like like me, missing. There's, there are some adult people who enjoy Stan Lee's company, and again, he will be sadly missed. I don't know what uh, Bill Maher is talking about. Anyways, that, that's for a whole nother video for a whole nother time. But we're talking about the Fantastic Four. Reed Richard is plastic. Sue contains her sight. Johnny is the human torch. And the thing just like the fire come down. <laughs> and those you don't know, I actually singing the song that's playing right now in the background. Uh, guys, so I think about maybe a week or two back, uh, I believe it was Marvel who allowed uh, who allowed us to uh, view the Fantastic Four 1994 film, which never was released, mind you. And, uh, you know, of course, the guy like Stan Lee, uh, who helped create the uh, Marvel's, uh, Marvel's first family, more like Combo's first family, is if I can say. But um, a lot of things, like, uh, for my knowledge, because when I, my times I was going to conventions, I would, see, I would actually see the Fantastic Four uh like this DVD, I'm like looking. I'm like, man, this can't be the Fantastic Four. I was like, what is this nonsense? I was like, this is, this is gray A bootleg. And um, I think I want to say when I went to Motor City Comic Con, that's when I actually saw the uh the bootleg version. I never bought it. I never bought it because again, it was bootleg. So I never bought. It. I never cared too much about it. And um, so when I did my little research on, it, I was like, oh, this is, this is an actual real thing. Just like um, with Luke. Evil did uh, Kaiba uh, talking about Dragon Ball Evolution. <laughs> Said this is not real. This is effing impossible. <laughs> but um, all right. So so doing. I, mean, I remember. Uh, I think it was Stars. They had like a special about talking about my like a uh, comic book movies coming to the big screen, and they um, I can't remember it per se. Barbados, what they was talking about, but pretty much what was going on with it. Is uh like Roger Corman? I think he was the producer of the uh, 1994 film, and pretty much they didn't really give him a, a big budget because you no, know, at this time they're trying to catch DC where they got movies like Batman and Superman doing in phenomenally well at that time. And uh, so I'm thinking, so they're like, so well, we gotta uh, pretty much that no, they're trying to catch up. And so they didn't, I guess I can say uh. Ooh, excuse me. Uh, they, 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 like, they didn't get enough funding, and by '90s standards, you know, uh, you know, it, it is bad. <laughs> it's like a very low budget movie. But here, let me uh, read this for you. It says, "Fantastic Four is a 1994 independent superhero film based on Marvel Comics' a long-running comic book, and features the origin of the Fantastic Four and the team first battle with Dr. Doom. So I'll spit a little bit there, I apologize. Combining the super super team origin with the Fantastic Four number one and Dr. Doom's origin from Fantastic Four annual two with original elements executive produced with a low budget specialist, Roger Corman and Bernard Inc. Inc. Bernard, uh, who went to produce the big budget Fantastic Wow, he, I did not know that. In 2005, the film was also never released officially, but legal copies began uh, being circulated in, uh, after a few years. Case in point. So, um, again, as, as I just read to you guys, it, it was phenomenally bad. <laughs> so, uh, so, but anyway, so uh, my friend of mine, um, Professor S. Charles, he told me that uh, you can watch the movie on YouTube. And I took the time to actually got some of my notes here, but... Uh, pretty much uh, in the movie, like you see uh, Reed, you see uh, uh, Vic, uh, Victor Von Doom, and you see uh, Ben Grimm, they all are in college. 
and uh, and so like they definitely for me, I love how they stuck with the origin of the comic. You know, they had their own like a uh, course like they like like uh, Reed and Ben many calls in the custom made Victor Von du made Victor Von Doom of course, and they, they showed the, the the friendship that Reed and Ben had which was pretty good, right on it. Uh, even they played the rivalry between Richards and Doom really good. But the one, like, before I get more into the rivalry of that, the one thing that really shocked me was uh, I, I, when, when Reed was in college, I want to say maybe she was in high school along with John. I could be wrong, but there was like kids, well, I guess high school kids, I don't know. It was like there was kids and Sue was madly in love with Reed, and it was like, oh my god, I was like, really? So, so, like, so, so, so this is gonna be kind of weird looking, but uh, eventually, going back to the rivalry was done to me, was done really well uh, during that time. Uh, like when Reed make a suggestion, Doom just shoves it to the side, was like, no, we're gonna do it like this, this way it's gonna work. Uh, you don't really see that in the uh. The first two Fantastic Four movies and the reboot, you really don't see that rivalry that uh, um, that Ben and I mean that's sorry that uh, that Reed and Victor have. Like they show that they show their friendship, but at the same time they show that their their rivalry and Doom didn't want to play second fiddle to Reed. So eventually everything goes wrong because they're trying to uh, gather this, this Colossus star or I, it's, well, it's not cosmic ray. I guess this is their version of the cosmic uh, radiation that that made them the Fantastic Four. Uh, so pretty much what happens uh, is explosion. Doom is horribly uh, burnt, and uh, so Reed thinking Doom was dead, and she's like, so basically, no, he he's still secretly working on it, but it was like ten years later. And uh, okay, yeah, I said that. Blah, blah, blah. So pretty much, uh, Reed gets this diamond. And they get to the Baxter Building. And he's getting to uh, he's getting ready to uh, no use it for as they great go into space so he can pretty much ca like no I guess like captured I'll say capture or measure the the, the the colossal star or whatnot but uh, as as we we do meet uh, Alicia Masters uh, just like I say ten years past Johnny and Sue are adults you know Sue sees Reed and she's like Reed's like smitten with uh, Susan Susan R again. Since she's older now, she can really pursue Reed now. So it was, it really, um, because with, 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 uh, with, with, I, they really played the, um, uh, the, I guess like the puppy love, I can, if I can say that, the puppy love between Sue and Reed. So that was, that was, uh, pretty instant. Then, like, I, when they get ready to go set up for the, uh, little set up for the space, uh, to go into space, um, uh, Reed, oh, that's my phone, sorry. Uh, Ben and the meeting Alicia Masters, of course, I think that was good, because, uh, I know if I remember, I didn't. It wasn't Kerry Washington in the first Fantastic Four movie. I, I don't know in 2005. I don't know. I can't. I can't remember off the top of my head right now. Uh, then Ben's is already spitting with her. So then we meet this guy who I thought was the Mole Man, but it's a villain named the Jeweler. And he not and this guy. I guess you can say him be the Mole Man. What for? What not? Whatever you want to say. So he's. He want to make uh, uh, Alicia his queen, so the best way he can do it is like, hey, I'm gonna take this diamond and present it to her. So pretty much, because then Doom again is you no know, Doctor Doom. He's alive in this movie. He's still alive, and uh, he's like, you no, know, he he wanted to pretty much sabotage Reed by taking a diamond and using the harm energy for himself. But he was like, no. Then the, the jeweler came in, steals it, and re and replaces it. And says, oh. The jewel just did me a favor, so you know what? You know what? Let so let him get away with the diamond for now. I will get I will get him later. So pretty much we get ready to go head into space. And uh, and before we get ahead, Doom had this weird laugh. Uh, I'm gonna play it for you, and then you guys just tell me what you think. Just uh, take a take a listen. <laughs> That was weird. <laughs> that was really weird. Um, anyway, so pretty much they go into space. They find out the diamonds are fake, and pretty much what the diamond was, it was supposed to absorb this uh, the, the the radiation or the energy waves 
from uh, from this Colossus star, or whatever, whatever they call. It. I'm, I'm gonna call it the Colossus star, whatever. And uh, so basically, by the, by the jeweler switching out the diamond with the with with a fake one, they got infected. And so by them getting infected by the diamond, they uh, crash land. And all, only changes happened right then and there was uh, Reed, who's of course again stretched. Sue it changes. Uh, she can uh, contain her sight, and Johnny, who can transform to human torch, of course. Uh, eventually, uh, Doom find out about them. They find out that they're still alive. They go get them, bring it to bring it to uh, his hideout, Castle Von Doom. Oh, it's just Castle Von Doom. <laughs> so I don't know. I could be wrong. So by them catching, uh, they managed to escape. Of course, it's being said, the oh, ever loving is Clarentine. Yes, guy, it, it, it works so well. So, uh, Ben, and when they when they finally get back to the city, uh, no, nobody's not liking how Ben, because I've been looking, he's, he's the thing. Nobody, like, he, everybody's scared of him, this, that, and the other. And eventually, you know, like I said, Ben runs off and he ends up running into the jeweler. Because if, if I remember right, I think the Mole Men, uh, the Mole King, I should say, uh, they, they invited Ben to their ranks. Cause like it's like hey down here we you know you were accepted and that and pretty much that's how it was if i if i want i want to say that's how it went by uh, again just paraphrasing again the jeweler supposed to be i believe the jeweler was supposed to be was supposed to be the mold was the mold king supposedly that's what i think that's what i'm gathering but anyways continue on eventually doom goes after the mold uh <laughs> goes after the jeweler just so he can get the diamond so he can uh so he can use the diamond entry for himself uh, the jeweler's like, no, I'm not gonna, let, I'm not gonna give it to you. It's for my queen, for Alicia, and then uh, eventually, uh, let me see what I got here. Uh, Alicia tells Ben that she, oh, Alicia tells Ben that she loves him, and and um, Ben had to make a great, he had to escape because he wanted Alicia to be harmed. So now, what? None of the, none of the three Fantastic Four movies that came out in the 2000s, they didn't touch on this subject, and I read on this. Uh, Ben's powers is is um, connected to his emotions. See, what the funny thing is, the funny thing is, if Ben was like would stress out so much and stay concentrated, he can easily transform, and he transforms back to a human. But he since he's so stressed out, and the fact that he can't become human, he can't. Uh, he, he he stays in his rocky form. And the funny thing is, I'm mean, going back to the old, uh, the, the 90s Spider-Man cartoon. Ben had the ability to transform back, but that's that's that was because of Doom gave, gave him the ability to, to do. It. I can't remember what he do, what he uses, like what he. Um, I think he, I don't know. I just I think he gave him the ability. I just can't remember off the top of my head how he did it in the Spider-Man. I know I know it's like um, it's like a battle between good versus evil. All the villains from Captain America and Spider-Man, X-Men. Was working together, and the Spider-Man get together with the, some of the X-Men, Captain America, Black Cat, the Fantastic Four. I think it was, it was, yeah, Captain, yeah, it's just like Captain America, and all that was going down as well. But uh, I, I, to me, that's one of the biggest things that stands out. And of course, Doctor Doom's laugh. <laughs> but that's one thing that really stood out to me. Like no, no none of the movies was able to um, talk about that. It was was really surprising to me. So again, I felt like the '90s movie. Far being because I know it was bad, really stuck to what made uh, uh, like kind of stay to the combo form. You know, I, to me, I believe like um, with Fantastic Four and and Rise of the, the Rise of the Silver Surfer, I felt that's more of a mixture of the two. But it, I think it didn't get portrayed right or or delivered right. I say then of course the new the reboot of Fantastic Four was was awful because it didn't show that family dynamic, which I would give credit to. To this, to the '94 Fantastic Four movie, uh, the no, the uh, the, uh, the Fantastic Four win Rise of the Silver Surfer. They kind of showed that family dynamic, and I think uh, they didn't really show that much rivalry right between Reed and Doom that much in the first film. Man, I don't think they didn't do it in these. He, it was, it wasn't as prominent as uh, or thrown out as it was in th in this movie, and uh, I. I think for me, Johnny was more of a. Um, I mean, I'll say why he's worried because he don't think he don't know he better control his powers or not. But he didn't pick on Ben as much. Like, like this why I get credit to the uh, the the first Fantastic Four movie and Rise of the Silver Surfer. 
you know Ben was able to so Eric, you know Ben was able to transform back I'm missing a couple stuff you know Ben was able to transform back to himself uh but that was uh dude when Doom took the power away from him and then when uh when they got in con when they got close contact with the uh, Silver Surfer Ben was able to touch Johnny and Johnny absorbed Ben's powers and it was it, weird in a sense but and again you know it's what it was then then pretty much going back to the climax of the film of getting a little bit off topic here um no the final fight pretty much they save alicia uh johnny went flame on literally punched the crap of a, little, of a laser <laughs> easily beat that uh re easily beats doom and uh that pretty much that's about it that that's about it about the 1994 movie um uh, i would like to say that yeah i know the, the movie itself is again cr incredibly bad i get that 100 percent. but for me it it, it kind of in a sense it kind of stuck out because it somewhat kept what made the fantastic four good bar bar from be it i really think the the first Fantastic Four movie and Rise of the Silver Surfer did its job. It just and it got and like the the reboot just was bad. And I'm not saying I'm saying with the reboot. I don't go, I'm gonna get back to talk. I'm getting ready to close this video out. Um, I, for me, what made the reboot bad for the uh, Fantastic Four movie was it didn't make it. It wasn't family oriented. I guess what I'm saying like you know the fa like family is Marvel first family. They're like the first family of comics, and then. The one time uh, Johnny actually got on being was at the end of the movie. That was it. That's all we get, you know. But again, I didn't get that in this film either because John's so worried about more so on himself. But um, you know, again, I you know the movie's not great, guys. It it had stuff that made me want to say, "Hmm, this is actually pretty decent, pretty good." And again, this is the first time I watched the movie. So it was, it, in, in my eyes, it was good. Not great, good, but it, the reason I'm, the reason I'm saying it's good because it, it, it had some, some of, some, not all, some of the core values that made Fantastic Four great as a comic and as a cartoon and so on and so forth. All right, guys, so we're going to get ready to end this movie off. I'm going to end this video off. End this video off here. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Tell your friends up. Let me come to the murder site. We do have those cookies. And, um... Tell me what other video you want me to do a reaction to next. Uh, you want to do it like, you want to talk about the other three Fantastic Four movies? You want me to actually do the cartoons? Because I would definitely do the cartoons as well. Because that actually has a special place in my heart as well. And, or, in, or even when we're talking about the video games. I, I have yet to do a reaction to a, a video game when I play all through Top of Air. I have done it. I don't know. I don't know when, when I'm going to get, get, get the chance to do that. But anyways, guys, please. I'm going to say it again. Oh, please. You guys stay random. And I'll see you all in the next video. I'ma do it all for you. Come along and see it's true. But the world is pretty cold. You might need a sweater too. I'ma put her